What's happening? <laughs> My job was to crack three eggs into the small bowl. He's done two. Did I you, did three. Did you do three? Yeah. Okay. But the first time I got shell in it and had to pick it out, and then the second time half the egg ran down the counter, but the third time was fine. <laughs> third time's the charm. Hey all you colorful sprinkles, it's Willow, and this week I'm with Caden and Nikki, and we're just making chicken tenders. So, uh, join our family on this adventure. Yeah. Now you whisk them up. Okay. I don't like this. <laughs> you said you wanted to do this. I didn't say I wanted to be recorded. Sorry. Now what? <laughs> now you're gonna get a cup of flour and put it into one of the bowls. And two cups of breadcrumbs and put that in the other bowl. Um, one cup flour. Okay. Two Does cups. it matter which bowl? <laughs> what? No. One cup. It doesn't have to be. Two cups of breadcrumbs and the other bowl. That was the chicken that sat in water and that's apparently called brining. We brined the chicken for a couple hours with um, salt and cold water after cutting it up into tenders. And this is gator jam that gator left. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it out in order for you, okay? Thank you. You're going to do chicken into the flour, into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, onto the pan. I prefer to keep one hand wet and one hand dry. Flour, egg, breadcrumbs, or is it flour, egg, then flour, and then breadcrumbs? Flour, egg, breadcrumbs. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. Is this the wet hand because I touched the chicken? Yes. Okay. Do you want me to show you real quick? How do I keep a dry hand? So, put your chicken on the side of the flour. Yep, take your dry hand, pour some flour over it, and then with your dry hand, kind of mix the chicken and coat it in flour. And then take your dry hand, Plop it into the egg with your wet hand. Make sure it's coated in egg. And then drop it on the side of the breadcrumbs. And then with your dry hand, it's coated in breadcrumbs and these things. That's what they mean. I've been so confused about that my whole life. What? <laughs> about keeping one hand wet and one hand dry. <laughs> 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 I made fun of, but I don't like it. You got this, babe. You got this. One down. You've just got like 50 more to go. <laughs> I messed up already. <laughs> you can always wash your hands if you need them. Okay. You're doing great. You're doing great. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. If you need more of anything, let me know. I just kind of guessed at how much of each you would need. I was going to turn that into croutons, but I can make more bread out of it. It's a bald spot. Why you fully coated with eggs. I thought I did. <laughs> Can I do more than one at a time?
you know, some of my coworkers have to realize that I'm autistic yet. Well, if Willow posts this on YouTube and they see it, they'll know now. Cool, cool. Because they apparently already found Willow's channel. <laughs> There we have it, chicken tenders, and they're ready to go in the freezer so we can have them as a snack whenever we're hungry. I have an actual adventure for us next week. Uh, this week I kind of just used this as filler video. Hope you enjoyed having fun with us in the kitchen today. But uh, I'll be back with some shorts this week and a video on Monday. I'll see you next week.